Ruth here, and I've ordered a couple things from the Sophie's Toffee store. So, if I can get at it. <laughs> uh, let's see. These are not part of it. Your happy mail is here. Here's how you can save more. Join a loyalty rewards and earn points. Leave a review and get 10% coupon or $5 credit. Refer a friend and get $10 coupon. Join our newsletter and receive exclusive deals. Subscribe to our subscription craft boxes. SophieandToffee.com It's a cute dinosaur and unicorn in there. It's nice that the dinosaur has a uh, has a helmet on, you know, to uh, keep the oxygen, even though it's not connected to anything. But anyway, <clears throat> um, it came with a freebie, a set of freebies. So um, let's see what it is. So we've got some, I guess, the resin film stuff. Very pretty. There is a uh, a dice mold. Okay. There is a uh, two bow. What are they? What's the word? Cabochon. Pink and green, kind of, kind of green with star sparkles in it, or sequins, whatever. And I don't know why, but I have a mini butterfly sequins on my finger from inside this, well, even though there's no butterfly sequins anywhere else. <laughs> and so. There are star sequins or glitter. Very lovely. Very tiny too. And Christmas flake seal, whatever that is. It's got those designs in it. I don't know what a flake seal is, but I'm okay. Something Christmassy. Alright, so that's, that's the freebie stuff. Nice. Put it back in the bag for now so I don't lose anything. Wouldn't want to lose anything. <laughs> so that's a bag of freebies there. <clears throat> oh, this uh, Sophie and Toffee cooling powder. That came free. Chameleon Effect Series Mica Powder, six colors. This actually came free when I ordered um, this with something else. So it came with the kind of what you normally use for eyeshadow, I guess. And and a s scrape spoon thing, thing to take. Did it come with this, or did this just come from something else? I think it came with that. Um, but it's got very pretty. Let me focus. There we go. That's better. Isn't that pretty? 
This is red, purple, blue. This is purple, red, blue, green. Very pretty. This is red, green, gold. Things are getting stuck up there. And this is blue, green, gold. Well, so the end is kind of missing. That's pretty. That's pretty too. This is blue, green, purple, red. And this is gold, red, and purple. Pretty pretty. So that's that. <coughs> Alright, if you wanted to close up. Anyway, so there's some like, uh, I forget what they're called, but you put them in before you cure and you already have a ready-made hole so you don't have to drill one or something. Um, Silicone hole maker tools. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Right. The other stuff on that list was uh, for my sister's present, so I don't actually have that in this bag, obviously. But what I did order for myself, because he's absolutely so cute. I don't know if you can really see it. This cutie here. Like a little butt and tail butt. It is a 3D bunny silicone mold, like for shakers or whatever. That's so cute. I like my bunnies. Nice. Probably need to get um, that shaker film though. But anyway, that is the bunny. And this mold I got was uh, for my figures when I, when I came to put it up. Like, um, let's see, it says it's a 
seven level mold storage shelves, silicone mold. So I was hoping if I made it myself, I wouldn't have to buy one, because they do tend to get expensive. But we'll see. I might need to buy one anyway. <laughs> but, um, I thought this way I can like DIY my own shelf, put my figures on. So, like, I could like put like little, I don't know, like a Sailor Moon or a rainbow colored or you know. Oh, that would be neat. So I got a seven, the seven mold, seven tier mold. So yeah, that's the stuff in this video, I guess. There is one more thing on my stack of, to record from the uh, Sophie and Toffee stuff I bought. I mean, one time I bought enough that they sent it in a box. But yeah, so do check them out. Awesome molds and stuff there. So thank you for watching. Like stuff more. I'm going to for notifications. Over now. Okay, so this is, I guess, at the end of the shop purchase one. Because I did do one from the Harry Potter kit somewhere in there. And uh, I decided I'll well, put that in a different video. I guess. Clip. Thing. Anyway. Uh, my sister gave me this, so um, that's what those are. I guess I might have not cared it long enough because it's still a little tacky. But it's like, well, we we'll learn as we go. I actually didn't use a timer, probably should have really, but I'll just put it under for a little bit longer, then I'll show you. See that's that. Okay, so. Not tacky. Well, I'll just bring some away. Okay, so these are the ones I'm going to show you. So my sister gave me these two as well. And I bought this bunny one. Let's open with the one over tiny bit. So uh, let's do this one. Let's put the camera that way. We'll do this one first, shall we? It's a bit uh, messy. Hmm. That's what that looks like. I kind of uh, put the mica powder on the the base when I just put the the white when I filled it with white. So anyway, so that's that. It's still not really. I don't think it's cured all the way. Hmm. Maybe I should leave it a bit longer. But anyway, I'll cut off the bits that I saw there. And I'll uh, put it back in the mold and leave it again. I did put it in a sealed box. I so I don't know if that contributes to it being not quite finished. Because as you see, it 
it's not really... Or, it's because I messed up the ratio. When I was pouring it. So I might have done it accidentally a bit too much of one. Maybe. So we can, well, it's this experiment, you know, it's the first time using it, so... We shall see. So that's... Kind of cool. Okay, so this one is still a bit tacky too. But anyway, let's move this. It's cute. Maybe that's sticking. So technically this, I don't know if you mentioned, this is a shaker mold, technically, and I, I did a solid bunny. I didn't have any shaker liquid or anything. But that was pretty cute, and it's pretty sparkly. I did the uh, the red and a uh, UV resin, so I don't know if that really set all the way, so I just kind of put them in there. <laughs> just to, uh, I don't know, just in case. And all this was, uh, this resin is a uh, 3 to 1 ratio, so um, I might have accidentally put 35 or 36 of the first one, and uh, 13 of the other, which I'm thinking it should have been less. I'm not very good at <laughs> ratios. But, uh, yeah, so that's what I guess show you these briefly. I kind of like did color, but then I kind of just thought, forget it, and put the the rest of the clear UV resin. So uh, that's what it looks like. So you can uh, see through some. So I didn't put that much powder in. Kind of like kind of like you see a chameleon powder stuff. So it's not quite one singular color. Kind of green, blue, and, and something. So, like you can tell maybe there's like clear resin there and colored. Cause I just blocked it in the middle, as you can see. And this have a cool effect that I was seeing. Look at that. I have no idea what that is. Well, that was pretty cool when I saw it later. So that's that one. This is this one. This is with the, the red and something chameleon powder. Oh, 
Oh, that was pretty cool. Okay, I like how it's sparkly. And this is the other one, Tiny Heart. So you can see it's two distinct bubbles right there. But like, yeah. So that's, that's this. Pretty cool. It's kind of because a pearl white like powder with the dots of other bits. Well, the dots are the same color as this one, really. And a kind of white pearl in the back. Um, I'll let these care a bit more, so I'll have to check on them tomorrow. And I'll just leave them out instead of inside the pot. See if that helps. Alright, so that's what these bits are. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. We're gonna do it right now. I did that already. Okay, so from the original thing, I did make a few more. I'll show you in a second. So these did eventually harden appears. My bathroom, or at the time, was not as hot as it needed to be. I liked to have the window open the entire time as it cured so the resin fumes wouldn't stay in my bathroom. But, um, yes. It's a very nice back to it, as you can see the, uh, the white mica powder. Well, pearl white. But um, putting my powder directly into the mold, not really a good idea. So these were my first attempts, so I know what not to do next time. So like is this one. I do like the back of it. Don't know what I was thinking when I was just putting drops of it in there, but uh, yes. So. Not sure what to do with these, to be honest. Maybe put some sequins in there. And just... I'll put various... I have no idea, really. So that's these two. I'll have to cut, you know, bits off. Trim it down. Hopefully it'll still be trimmed. And these ones... I'll put the camera down. See if it helps. So here is uh, this one, and it's nice and sort of kind of transparent there, around. I use the uh, chameleon powder for this, so I don't know if you can really see the difference. This has still a tiny bit tacky for some reason. Uh, bits of glitter because I used my sister's mold and it turns out she actually didn't clean it all the way. So it's still slightly that was pretty cool. Uh, that was kind of I don't know what I was doing. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in the, uh, the first part before this clip. But uh Put the colored resin mix in, and then I just poured in the clear in the middle. <laughs> As you can probably see, it's not really flat either. But um, I thought that was a pretty cool effect on the inside. You can't really see it that well in the camera, but I'll see if I can get a picture of it. But that is super cool. Let's see if you can see it better over the white. Maybe? I have a feeling that's cool. Kind of creepy looking on the inside. But so cool. Anyway, what we are doing for this is these. 
I did a few more. <laughs> I just stuck with resin. I mean, UV resin. Obviously, it's all resin. But I figured I'd try out this. So, I think it's all still slightly tacky still. I'm gonna see if I can put, I don't know, immerse it in Mod Podge or something. I read. See if that helped. But, uh. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cute. Just a little head circle thing. Don't know what I'd do with that, but I had leftovers. See, like this green one was a leftover because it doesn't even fill the entire thing. Oh, that was really pretty. Don't know if you can really see the shine. I feel my, I like that the mica pattern kind of has like a shimmery, glittery kind of look to it. Okay, so this one I kind of overfilled. <laughs> So initially, I did put um, like a little resin film thing for the uh, Hogwarts house, but you can't really see it. <laughs> I mean, I can't really see it. I was just vague. So maybe I should have not put it after putting some resin in. Maybe I should have put it in before. But anyway, still it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a cool uh, effect on the back anyway, too. So that was that one. Okay. I'll well just do all the green ones, shouldn't I, first? Then I'll do the, uh, the other color. Mm. Pretty cool. Nice and shimmery. I'm not sure what to do with them, to be honest. <laughs> Very pretty. Oh, this one's not really all the way done. <laughs> well, we'll see if I need a little bit more, because like it's... I'll see if any more uh, UV lamp time will help it along or not. Okay, here is another one. I did put the uh, resin film, I think, in there, but you can't really see it. But it's still pretty cool. I uh, dropped some of the glitter in here by accident. Yeah, this one hasn't finished yet either. It's a little bit tiny. And I did put something in here, but I think I put it too, too far back. So you can't really see it. Well, this goes to show to put the stuff you want in the front down first, and then put the resin around it. I just didn't want it to, you know not appear, or I should put less powder in there so you can sort of see it. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, that was pretty cool. I kind of mixed it. As you can see, I did put something in the back here. Whether you can see it in the front, I don't know. But it is still not finished. Well, you might be able to tell what it was supposed to be. 
Not that much though. You can sort of tell in the back if you uh, look through the lights. I wonder why it's not cured all the way. Maybe because I put cardboard in without really sealing it or anything. It's been a couple days, so I thought it would have, I don't know, cured properly, but I guess it didn't. This, this neither. That is slightly disappointing. That hasn't actually cured all the way yet, because it's sticking to my fingers. So, I'll just put these near to close together, so... I can get them all under the light. Okay. So we got a red one. But you could sort of see where the thing was supposed to show. <laughs> but it doesn't. And it's sticking to me, so it's not done. Even though it's been a couple days. Okay. Um. It's just a. A nice yellow one, which has not finished by the looks of it. Oh, let's see. Another yellow one that has not finished, but, 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 you can actually see Hogwarts oh, Crest on it, sort of. Kind of got a smudgy, not finished. Resin bit to it. But anyway, so we'll finish that off. This one is not finished either. Seems like it still had glitter in it from our previous thing. For some reason, these are not thin. Hmm. Well, here's this one. It's not finished either. <laughs> and it seemed to have had a bubble at the very end. <laughs> Still, that looks pretty cool. Not how it's supposed to. I was aiming for, but anyway. So lastly, or it didn't have a bubble, it just hadn't finished curing, because it's it's still right there. Okay, so this one technically I probably shouldn't take it out, but anyway. Part is the last one. And ta -da. can't really see it properly though. But I don't know why there's a blue glitter dot in there. But this is the Wonder Woman symbol. I thought I'd try that out because I had a couple. So this thing, that's, that's all of them. So I'm going to put them under a UV lamp with my little sun lamp there. With my, luckily I had a, a spare power pack. So I'll turn that on and do that. I'll clean, clean the, uh, the mold, but like for instance, this is the uh, little Wonder Woman little thing, piece. Ah, go this way. And I got it from Chaos Comics in their clearance section. Here, let me reach up and get the pack. The Wonder Woman markers from the Batman miniature game thing. I thought, you know, 
I did make a pin out of one. And I was thinking of making a magnet as well. I don't really have a small magnet for that. But I figured I could use it in my crafts. Since I don't know what else to do with them. I got them on sale in the clearance section, so I might actually invest in some others as well. Like the Green Lantern one, the other one as well. I don't know. Anyway. Yes, that's that's it for this end of the video. So I probably already said goodbye, so doodles.